Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. Today we'll be discussing how astronomers can measure the distances to nearby stars through a process known as stellar parallax. With me as always is my assistant, Stephen. Hey. Wait a minute, you're not Stephen. What are you doing here? Stephen quit, I'm his replacement. Oh no, you're not, dude. I'm paying good money to pay your salary. You owe me a full 15 weeks. Fine! Fine! Today we'll be talking about how astronomers can measure distances to nearby stars through a process known as stellar parallax. With me, as always, is my assistant, Stephen. Whatever. Whether you know it or not, you're already familiar with the concept of parallax. It's what allows you to perceive depth in your surroundings to know how far away that wall is or how high up that tree branch is. Anyone with two good eyes can experience parallax. To demonstrate this effect, hold up two fingers, one on each hand. Now hold one close to you and one far away. Close one eye and open the other, and then blink back and forth repeatedly. What did you notice? To demonstrate what you should have seen, Steve and I will act as your two fingers, one closer and one farther away. And then we will film from two different camera angles to represent your two different eyes. You should have noticed that your closer finger appeared to move relative to background objects. Oh! oh! Now you weren't actually moving your finger, it was just due to a change in perspective. As you blink your eyes back and forth, you're looking at your finger first through one eye and then through the other. Parallax is therefore an apparent shift of nearby objects relative to background stars due to a change in the perspective of the observer. What about the finger held at arm's length? It also appears to move, but not as much. Parallax has an inverse relationship with distance. The farther away an object is, the smaller its parallax. Using basic geometry, astronomers can measure the distance to a star. When astronomers make very careful measurements of the position of stars in the sky, we see that some of those stars appear to move back and forth very small distances across the sky. This is because these stars are exhibiting parallax. They are moving relative to much more distant background stars. Why are they moving? Because the Earth is going around the Sun. If we measure the parallax of a star as the Earth moves from one side of the Sun to the other, we can measure its distance. Using this method, we have measured distances to hundreds of thousands of stars out to about 200 parsecs away. Join us again next time for another exciting astronomy concept. See you next time! You're just too convincing. I'm sorry, it throws me off. It's starting to get sore. I have a bruise. <laughs>